Let's focus on Argentina specifically for a bit. When we talk about Lionel Messi with Barcelona, we talk mm. about a Messi dependencia. We're going to take a look at Argentina's 11 here. Is the 11 that Argentina can possibly put out with Messi any more capable of supporting him than the group we see with Barcelona? And if not, Ale, is this group just going to be Messi dependent? <laughs> As they have been for the last decade. Yeah. Is that a problem? It, it is. It is an issue. But I think the biggest issue is that Lionel Messi then feels a need to have to go get the ball in defensive areas because there isn't enough service coming from guys like Lo Celso, Pereira, and Paredes, and Di Maria. So he feels like he has to play make. And when he feels that, that need, that he has to be the guy playmaking, then the guy who receives the ball in an advanced position in order to make a decision, in order to have an impact in the final third, is not Lionel Messi. And so he's finding himself in a situation where he's got to get the ball, he's got to pass it, then he's got to be the guy who receives it. Then he's got to spread it out wide. And then he's got to be the one who then finishes inside the 10-yard box. Well, he's not going to be able to do that. So if I'm Escaloni and I'm asking Lionel Messi, and I'm begging Lionel Messi and saying, Lionel, please, mm. just stay up there. Trust that these guys are going to get you the ball in a good area. Trust that these guys are going to do their job. You stay over there, and then when you get the ball in that sort of position, then you make the decisions and you make the impact that we want you to make. The, the challenge for me with this Argentina team, and you look at Argentina on paper, and that is as good a national team as, as you can put together. Somehow, in moving from paper onto the pitch, I, I don't know what goes on with, with, with some of these ultra-talented players. And the thing with Lionel Messi, and I understand everything Ali's saying about Lionel Messi and what you're asking of him, nothing about anybody else suggests that, that they can get the ball to Lionel Messi in, in decent areas. You saw that last summer in, uh, in the World Cup, particularly in knockout stages, where Lionel Messi is being asked to play a little bit higher up and stay a little bit higher up and nothing happening. Just because these players do not deliver on what you see from them week in, week out. Then comes the, the factor that, well, maybe you need a coach who can control and, and command that kind of respect from the other players within this dressing room. Lionel Scaloni is not that man. A, a young coach coming in, his first international tournament, he is not the man that is going to somehow transform this Argentina in, into a, a winning team. I, I just don't see it happening. What, what I would say about that, though, is that they have tried everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they have tried the manager with experience. They've tried the, the guy who hasn't been there before. They've tried Sampaoli, who has been successful with Chile. They've tried, they've tried every single mix there is to try, and it hasn't worked. And so... Might as well go with a guy who's, who's a little bit younger, who yeah. can maybe communicate with his players. Look, getting the best out of these players in any group, in any group, I'm not even talking about Argentina, but any team around the world, it is the job of a manager. The issue with tournaments like this is that you don't have the time to really get a team working together. But in the preparation for Copa America, if you use that, the time that is available to you, and you just, you just have to find three or four concepts that you can communicate with these players and make sure that they're, doing, that they're doing those things well. It doesn't have to be a whole myriad of things because you don't have to play a whole season. It's just five, six games that you got to get together and make sure you get concepts right. You get those concepts right defensively for Argentina and then you allow Lionel Messi to be who he is. Easier said than done. It may not happen, but if it does happen, then yes, I think Argentina wins it. To your point, Scaloni has only ever been a caretaker yeah. or an assistant. So this is a, a big step up. The other side of this, of course, is Brazil. We'll take a look at their potential possible 11. Of course, Neymar is not in it. Is there a case to be made, not maybe that Brazil's better, but that they could play better without Neymar, Ale? No, I'm not going to sit here and make that Too argument. Far. Too that, far. Yeah, Neymar makes a difference for this team and attracts attention from everybody else in this team. So when he's on the field and he's actually being effective and efficient with his game, then it makes it easier for guys like Firmino, Richarlison, Coutinho, whoever may be on the field with him. Neymar is a, it's a tremendous talent. It's a world-class talent. The best of Neymar is up there with the very best. The problem is that the very best of Neymar we haven't seen consistently enough. Now he's out of the picture. And so I think what it forces this team to do is, all right, we're not going to win just because Neymar is here. We're going to win because of the strength in numbers, the strength of the team, the strength of the squad, the depth of our squad. That team's still very good. It's not the dominant Brazil, 
but it's still very good and should be good enough to go deep in this tournament. I think this team will play together. There will be a team concept about this team. And there may just also be the idea that the group gets together and say, everybody thinks we're going to lose because Neymar is not here. Mm -hmm. Maybe a sense of pride for a team could come out and say, you know what? We are good enough to do this. Let's pull together and let's make sure that we put together a performance that we can be proud of. Look, five years ago, I hosted the World Cup on, on, on home soil. I think Brazil hitched all their successes on Neymar. And once he goes down injured, th things just fall apart. They, they have the excuse that, that they were looking for. Last summer, and I, I made this point, Neymar averaged three minutes per game on the floor. That's a lot of momentum taken out of a team. Well, as that's, that's some research there, Shaq. I know. I'm, that's, I'm just, that's unlike you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's a lot of momentum taken out of a team as dynamic as Brazil. Yeah. And I think Tite fed into Neymar and, and his outsized ego. And, and I think Tite is, has, has a lot of responsibility to bear himself. Maybe this Brazil team can be better without him. Saying that, without, and as I made the point earlier, um, you're now looking for, for the big personalities within that dressing room. Maybe a Casemiro, maybe Alisson are the ones who step up and, and be the leaders on, on the park. Similarly, though, I still think that this Brazil team has a lot of, a lot of question marks about them, particularly at the back. As talented as they are, they're aging, and we're in this tournament-style competition where games are coming thick and fast, I am not overly convinced by that back four, though they probably have, if not the, one of the best goalkeepers in the world behind them. You know what the interesting thing there was, Shaka, that you just mentioned in terms of big personality? Defensive players. Mm. So when you consider... Brazil of the past, or historically Brazil, where were the big personalities? They were in the attacking half. Now we're talking about, well, maybe Casemiro is going to be the big guy in the middle for them. Maybe Alisson is going to be. Maybe the depth of their talent is not on the attacking half. It's actually in the goalkeeping position where they have Ederson on the bench. Mm -hmm. this, and, and that kind of paints a picture of it's a good Brazil, but it's not a great Brazil. Yeah, I don't know how much we've mentioned Coutinho. I mean, does yeah. the pressure, does the spotlight shift to him now with Neymar gone? And can well, he handle it, that? It, can I mean, he it, it that? should. He, needs it. He, he should be. And, and maybe this is a moment where he thrives. Maybe this is where, okay, it's, it's not Messi. It's not Neymar. It's you, Philippe. Do it, baby. Here you go. Here is the ball. Showcase all everything that you showcase with Liverpool and you haven't been able to showcase with Barcelona. See, let's see the very best version of yourself. He was that in the World Cup. Whenever he came in, there was an impact on, on the field. Maybe he can be that for Brazil in this tournament.